We need to pray more, 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 and more. Even if you believe that your prayers are not being answered, you need to continue to pray more, 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 and more. As humans, many of us judge things based upon our thoughts, what we see, what we hear, what we feel. When it comes down to things of the spirit, your earthly senses are not always going to pick up on the supernatural. It is not. So if you judge things based upon your earthly senses, your perception is always going to be off. Everyone can't see everything that is happening in the spiritual realm. Everyone can't see everything on the other side. So how can we judge things based upon our senses when it is going to be off when it pertains to God? Think about that. We don't see everything. It may seem like when we pray, God is not answering that particular prayer, but you don't actually know what is happening. You really don't. Because your perception, you are going by your senses, which is going to be wrong when it comes down to things of God. So you can't use your intellect. I don't care how smart you are. You can't use your intellect to understand God. You have to transition your way of thinking to what the Bible says to understand God. That's it. So we need to pray by faith. Believing that God is going to do what he says that he is going to do. By faith, not by sight, not by the way that we feel. Many of the time, for many people, the way that you feel is pretty much almost always wrong. Especially if you are a hypersensitive person that is always getting hurt by anything that comes your way. God has given authority to humans on this earth, okay? Whether you are in sin or obedient to God, if you are a human, you have authority, dominion, over this earth. So you can use that authority and allow demons to create chaos on this earth. Or you can use your authority to allow God, angels, so on and so on, dominion. You can allow angels and God to work on your behalf on this earth. So when it comes down to witches, Satanists, occult members and stuff like that, what do you believe they are doing? They are praying to demons and Satan to do what? To work on their behalf, to create chaos on this earth. If it works for them, it is going to work for us as well when we pray to God to work on our behalf on this earth. Prayer is powerful. Let me tell you this story. I was praying 
last night or early this morning. I was praying, let me say this, back when I was in sin, I hurt quite a few of women. I was really, really bad back when I was in sin. So it came to my mind, Kevin, pray for those women that you hurt back in your past. So I was praying for them and around two or three minutes, uh, let's say one minute, around one minute of praying for them, I see this. Now, this may not make sense to you, but please understand what I am saying to you. I see this demonic, supernatural image. I can't say in my thoughts because it was much more clear than how your thoughts are. But I see this crazy looking demonic image that came to my thoughts. I forget how it looks like, but it pretty much had this evil grin and these fiery eyes with this silly, evil, wicked grin. I don't know if it was trying to intimidate me or get me to be afraid or something like that, but I continued praying for them because I don't want people to hold unforgiveness for me or to me. How do I say that? I did those women wrong, so I don't want them to hate me, then be sent to hell because they are holding bitterness against me. So what I do now, I pray for those people and I pray for other people that I have done wrong as well. So this demonic, how can I say this? It's, it was a demonic still image. You know how you can have an image play or on your TV? It was just about clear as that in HD, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. So while I was praying for these women, this demonic image just pops up with this evil grin and these fiery eyes and stuff like that, trying to intimidate me or whatever, mock me, I have no idea, but I continued praying anyways. My Lord, and you may not understand this, but the closer you get to God, I am telling you, you are going to see some things that you thought that it's not possible to see. And you are going to experience much more things as well, which makes no earthly sense. Sometimes when I try to explain my supernatural experiences to people, you can't really do it in words because how can you explain supernatural things in words? Yes, you can try, but even with the words that you are using, you are not really explaining it 100%, if that makes any sense to you. But this very clear image came to me. My Lord, crazy man, very, very crazy. So obviously, while I was praying for those women, it was working. Because why would a demon, a demonic image, pop into my mind or whatever place you call that where I can see it? 
Why else would that demon do that if my prayers were not working? Look, whether you get an image or not, <laughs> I am not saying that if you receive an image that that means that your prayers are being answered. Look, don't look for an image. Just pray in faith and believe that your prayers are being answered. This is what I am trying to say. Just pray in faith and believe. Because with some of my prayers, I don't receive confirmations that my prayers have been answered. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I receive confirmations that my prayers have been answered, but not always, not always. So, what are you going to do if you don't receive confirmations? Are you going to stop praying? Which I did <laughs> a while back, <laughs> last year, I believe, and some other times as well. You can't do that. We have to continue praying more, more, and more, whether we see confirmations or hear about confirmations, no matter what, continue to pray over and over and over again. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.